Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Should have been a good spouse. Are you going to mic check the microphones? Mic check 578 times 2 divided by the square root of 4. Welcome to another episode of the Sun and I Video Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Mr. ID. I'm Tommy Lee Jones. That is Tommy Lee Jones, a.k.a. Mr. Avery Kane. And we have come to play. And bump the table and hurt the microphones, apparently. I don't like to hurt my microphone. It's an inaccurate. Then stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Could have been this spouse. Um, hello everyone. Dance on the moon. What's good in the hood? What's good around your neck of the hood? All that good jazz. Uh, before we start, always corrections from the last show. I only have two notable ones. We spoke about, of course, we spoke about Prince. Was that one episode ago? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, he passed on. Now people are saying he had AIDS, and 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 he knew he had HIV since 1992. And uh, there's pictures of him coming out of Walgreens, two towns away from his house. Like he could have went to another uh, Area. Walgreens, uh, another pharmacy closer to his house. There were two other ones closer to his house, which leads you to believe that he was getting so much medicine that he couldn't tap out. He couldn't drain the resources from one spot because it looks kind of suspicious when you're coming every other day to fill a prescription yeah. for something that should last you two months. So he was, you know, he was really using those perks very heavily, supposedly very waif. He on his future. Um, Get it? Yeah. I, I, future pops perks, Zannies, Molly, all that. So he's honoring future? No, I... I guess Future's honoring him. I mean, because for but, God's uh, sakes, Future worships these things. He has a song called Perky's Calling, Zanny Family. Well, Future's not worshiping shit until he gets a big tattoo of a pill on his arm like fucking Eminem. He has one? Yeah, he got a picture of a fucking pill chomping at his arm. Um, a Vicodin, I believe. It's a he, Vicodin pill. He does like Vicodin. And it's like, you know, eating at, away at him. So, you know, that's that's true devotion to drugs when you fucking get them tattooed on yourself. But I'm sidetracking. I just wanted to hit a little extra news about the prince before the reason I'm saying all that is to say that uh talked about Patton Oswald, the, the comedian, and yeah. we said that his wife died in her sleep. Never said her name. Uh, 46 years old, died on April 21st, 2016. Her name was Michelle McNamara. Michelle McNamara. 46 years old. Uh, got a master's degree from Notre Dame in creative writing. Oh, That's she, the only notable oh, information she, I could find about her. And I believe hit her and Patton were together for about 15 years. What were you going to say? Um, she could have been useful to the world. Or was she? Yeah, no, no. She started some website about... Uh, um, like crimes about solving old cold cases, and um, she put her creative writing skills to use. You know, uh, if you look Michelle McNamara up, you could see. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you could find all the information of her contributions to our great race. Um, and we also spoke about a skateboarding documentary. Mm -hmm. Be you know, Thrasher, so. because yeah. Uh, why were we talking about that? Because I'm building my skateboard. And I think I finish it this Friday? Yeah, the show's up here. Let me, let me help you off. Give me. Okay, what's, oh. who's on the phone that's so important? No one. Your little girlfriend. Nah, that's my boy Aaron. Oh, it's your boy Aaron, really? You sure? Yeah, my boy Aaron. <laughs> it's not your lady friend. Which one? Stop. Stop acting like you're a fucking player from the Himalayas. The new Your video. girlfriend. Uh, which one? Maldito que sea la That's... fucking madre. The one that you actually asked to be your girlfriend. Oh, no, she didn't text me right now. Oh, now you remember. 
The one that bothers you at 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. She doesn't bother me. Oh, I know she doesn't bother you. The one that got you whoosh, on a short fucking leash. Um, Because you're really into that phone right now when you should be attentively I'm Carmen. into this direction. Are you? Yes, actually. Are you? Yes, actually. And you choose now to do that? Mm-mm. I texted her earlier and she's responding. She just now. responded to you? Yeah. Well, you know, God bless you, Carmen. You know, hope everything is grand. Um, But Aaron. skateboard documentary. Why are we talking about that? Because I'm getting my skateboard built and we're going to build it and it's right there. If you... Well, they can't see it from that far. There. But we have showcased it before. There. It is what? What kind of skateboard is it? Santa Cruz and um, the trucks are... I don't know what brand the trucks are, but... This is my first skateboard, but eventually, after I wear out these trucks, I want to get a Supreme skate trucks. Because Supremes are really good. Well, they, they got, like, lightning bolts lightning on the bolts. truck. So, I don't know if that's the brand, you know, their little brand logo. Or maybe it's actually called Lightning or whatever. Yeah. But we were talking about the Thrasher documentary. I'm helping you out because you're not talking. I'm sorry. Looking I'm, at your hat. I'm zoning out here. Yeah, you're worried about your fucking girlfriend. Not really. <laughs> I don't know why he makes such a big deal out of it. Come on, man. Uh, oh, okay, Mr. Smooth. Smoothie pants. Go ahead, please. Uh, if you remember what we're talking about, please go on. Skateboarding. Oh, wow. Took you a minute to get back into the groove. You all right now? <laughs> Are you here with me? Skate Skateboarding and, like, the Thrasher film, because, I'm, you know, I'm making my... Um, my uh, Go ahead. My own um, skateboard and stuff, and I got the trucks and all that, and uh, I just need the wheels and the bearings, and me and this dude, this father of mine, is going to build it, and yeah, we're just going to build it, and I'm going to skateboard in it, and I'm going to be a savage, as always. Nothing has changed. I hand you the microphone yeah. so that you could explain to the people and prepare them for the information I'm about to give... Oh, what information? Sorry, mom was calling me. I checked the phone. <laughs> Woo! I handed you the mic yes. so you could explain to them why we were talking about a Thrasher documentary about skateboarding. Oh, because... And that was your chance we wanted to, to explain to them that your interest in skateboarding has led you to building your own skateboard. Yeah. And, and a Santa Cruz skateboard, you got the board, you got the trucks, whatever, what have you. You're in the midst of building a skateboard, yeah. and that is why we were talking about that. Oh. Uh, I did in 30 seconds what took you five minutes to barely get through. I'm sorry. Don't be, don't be sorry to me. Be sorry to the product that you putting out, man. Half-ass product? Stop looking at your phone. All right, I'll stop. Turn it upside down. He acts like it's not a big deal to have a girlfriend, but the motherfucker's attached to his phone. I'm always More so than normal. Because you've wanted a phone since you were seven, but we didn't give in until you were, I don't know, 11? 12. Whatever. And you've never been attached to your phone as much as you have been Aaron. since you've declared that you have a girlfriend. Aaron's texting me. Eh, it doesn't matter who's texting you. Unless you want to give them shine and get shout out their fucking at mentions on Twitter and give them fucking shine. Don't even say their fucking names. It doesn't matter. My point being is we not we don't do this that much. This is not that much time. You could cut the umbilical cord, like you like to say umbilical. I don't know why you think. The umbilical cord. Snip it. Matter of fact, don't snip it because you might fucking die. You might not have no sustenance. Just put a oh, clamp on the motherfucker. I I'm, she's not a Half big, hour. She's not I, a I didn't even say she. See? Why Why you catching Because you're the one that's always talking about her. You're, I know. No, 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 nigga. Don't, don't mistake me with somebody else. No. I give you your freedoms. I'm of the I am of the ilk, of the and as long as you're not disrespecting me, I give you your space. I don't come into the room and you be like, Dad, get the fuck out of here. You don't talk like that. You just say, 
I'm on the phone. I give you your space. I close the door. I keep it moving. The first day I fucked with you, I was by the door. Oh, I love you. And, you know, I was fucking with you. Whatever. Because that I think shit like that's funny. But, um... I don't know what I was... No, I wasn't just saying that. I was singing a song. I was doing, doing something that was annoying. Oh, I know. I was doing Cynthia and Johnny O. You're my dream girl. You're my dream girl. You in, in every way. Because, <laughs> no, you know, you're her dreamboat, apparently. Um... Every, I'm, a, I'm a dreamboat to every woman, you know. And that's the shit I'm talking about. Don't hesitate. I think it's just one little fucking girl. One little fucking girlfriend. I've had... S- and he, Yeah, you've had. Please enlighten me. Ten girlfriends in the past, and I have two side chicks right now. Plus this one. I don't know why I said that. Okay. It's the amateur that he is. That he says on a fucking camera, I got two side chicks, when he asks the girl to be his girlfriend. Uh-huh. Please play it from the Himalayas. Lay it on me. Tell me more. No, your boy. Keep telling on yourself. Go ahead. Your boy. I'm not going to keep telling on myself. But let's just say your boy over here. If she kept me cheating, I will never tell her sorry. Future, 2016. Ay, Dios mío. Su magnifica. Anyway, um, the skateboarding documentary that we didn't know the guy's name. Uh, remember, we were like at a loss yeah. and, and all this shit. Um, his name is John Cardiel. 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 C-A-R-D-I-E-L. Um, pretty big time. I guess he was pretty daring. Not as big as Tony Hawk with the fame part yeah. or the money part because he was paralyzed. Like Avery said in the last video. Yeah. Um, but he, he wasn't paralyzed forever, even though the doctor the doctors thought he would be. And they said that, and he ended up walking They again, told him so. in front of his mom, you'll never walk again, let alone ride a skateboard. And he's a good BMXer now. He rides bikes. Because I guess he's still got like a limp. You know, he, 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 I mean, from being to paralyzed to I could walk, but I got a little limp. Awesome, dogs. You made it. At least he could walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got that off. So now he can't really ride skateboard the way he used to, so he doesn't anymore. But um but he uh he rides bike. You know, he rides BMX. BMXing and shit. is not my personal favorite. Um and that's it for mistakes from the last show. That's it. Let's um, see if I have a uh, yeah. I was gonna be like, see if I have any notes, but that's a lie. I never keep He just it. wants to check his phone. I got wow. pictures with all my eyes. Alright, so what's up? What's new, bro? What's new? I know so not all of y'all like video games, but you know what? I don't care what y'all like. Alright? I still love y'all, though. Um, I still love all y'all, though. I'm playing, you know. I, I love y'all. But uh, Overwatch Beta came out yesterday. Mm-hmm. And your boy rocked it. And it was hype! What's beta? What's that mean? What does beta mean? It's a pre a pre release version of the game, which has a lot of kinks in it, but it's there for testing, and oh. they find out what's wrong with it. And before the release comes out by May twenty fourth in twenty days, they fix whatever's wrong. All right. So, but beta's open to everyone. Uh, only if you pre ordered the game. Oh, okay, so whoever pre-ordered the game, it's not like if you're a really good gamer, they email you directly and say, you've been selected for the beta. No, you, you just sign up for the alpha, all right, all right. not the beta. All right, all right. Like, I got to the alpha. I, I got in the alpha because um, I was uh, top t- top uh, 100 in the world for World of Warcraft. When I used to play that game a lot back in the summertime, I was a god. Max level had all items knocked out, and they contacted me, I guess. You sure you was top 100 in the world? Yeah. Because the world is pretty big. Yeah. I, I played a paladin. You sure you weren't know. top 100 in New Jersey? No. See, Maybe the East Coast? Actually, I think it was just the U.S. All right. Top 100 in the U.S. Which is still an amazing feat. But the and world still kind of hard to believe. But you do play a lot. You do play that much. <clears throat> I just know many people that play that game that have played it for a long time. Um, Since it came out, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in 04. Before 2008, yeah, I would say in 2006. It came, it out, it came out in 04 when I was one year old. Um, I, had a, I had a co-worker, Jose, 
who was into World of Warcraft. Um, yeah. You know, he would tell me about it, and I had, you know, inkling about it, didn't know shit. To me, it sounded very Dungeons and Dragon-y, and, you know, I kind of played, I played them out about it. I played it. it a lot with my boys back in the day. But I it's quit, dope, though. supposedly. Yeah. It's a grinding game. To get to 100 levels, because the max level right now is 100. To do that takes time and patience. It's a role-playing game. It's a uh, more of an yeah MMORPG, which is massive, massively multiplayer online game. They you just, sure that's what the acronym stands for? Let's check. You just want a reason to touch your phone. <laughs> no, I believe you. MMORPG. Yes, I've heard MM, the term. Yeah, MMORPG and uh, massive ow. music organizations, whatever it means. What does it Massively mean? Massively multiplayer online game. Why massively multiplayer? Massive multi... Okay, yeah. And, Massive um, multiplayer RPG online. Role, RPG is a role-playing game. and um, As opposed to a Call of Duty... Which is an FPS. Which where is- you play online multiplayer, but if you're doing the campaign, maybe four people maximum. Bad example. Let's say um, the Dead Island. You're playing multiplayer. You're going to have four people maximum. Because there are four characters. This is a massive multiplayer. Meaning there are thousands, hundreds hundreds of thousands, thousands millions of people playing at the same time all around the world. Um, Which, you say you were ranked in the top 100. Uh Um, I can relate on being ranked in games. Gran Turismo 5, which I know there's a part 6. If not even... No, there's no part 7 yet. I didn't like part 6 as much. Um... But part five, Gran Turismo five, that they made a TV show for, they had um, some type of show where the top 15 ranked Mm -hmm. went to a real driving school, a real racing school to learn how to drive. They they, uh, competitioned on the game, but they showed them how to evasive driving techniques and then another episode would be how to ride a racetrack how to eat turns how to drift how, teaching them how to drive a real car to join team nissan team nissan yeah top 15 in the world i was ranked 88th oh, yeah. 88 out of the millions of people that play dope i was feeling myself i even saved it on a hard drive like i saved my even though i don't have ps3 no more it was on ps3 uh, PlayStation 3, um, I saved my uh, profile and yeah. all, like the proof. <laughs> I saved it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I and it started thanks to Ron G, Ron Diesel, um, you know, Meech Get It Poppin'. Um, he's the one that made me start driving stick. You know, one day he came and he's like, oh, this is, because it's not a racing game. Gran Turismo is a, a simulator. It's supposed simulator. to be real, yeah. like a, driving a real car. Uh, yeah, you crash. That's why they, uh, the, the 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 cosmetics of the car will look they accordingly. Will bend and yeah. they will go everything. They will you scratch. hit the gas. You hold your gas hard a lot. You're gonna fuck up your alternators and whatever. You know, like it's a simulator. So he told me, "How the fuck are you racing in an automatic?" And they came to my house, and he's like, how you put stick? How you put manual? I'm like, oh, you don't want to do that. It's going to be hard. He's like, motherfucker, I ain't going to play if I if I got to drive automatic. That's just corny. He played manual, and he did well. He did fairly well. But I tried a, a lap doing those controllers, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, this shit is dope. I feel, I feel like I have more control of the car, especially right. its speed. So, you know, and you do because you could upshift whenever you want. Downshifting helps you slow down. Uh, There are a lot of aspects of driving stick that make driving dope. And uh, I didn't really even get into that game until that happened. So, thank you to Ron G. Um, But, yeah, I say all that to say just to show off that I was 88th place in the world. Gran Turismo 5. Lit. Top 100. World of Warcraft. Wow. I didn't, you remember once upon a time of busting your balls about wow? Oh yeah. You, you remember? A lot of bad things. I wish I had that video. It has to exist somewhere. I will dig it up. But I go on like a ten minute diatribe using the wow acronym. Many uh homophobic slurs. And uh the <laughs> 
dark hammer or something we're, like that. We're throwing it. around. It was fucking dope. It's just funny. I'm with, busting his balls. With dark, you, I said dark hammer, and you were like, oh, no. Yeah, you know, it was just busting his balls and shit. And uh, it's a funny video. I'll see if I can find it. Maybe if I find it fast enough, I could post it at the end of this one. You know, put it with the episode. But um, um, that's it for that. So you, that's it for that. Enough fucking uh, video games. This weekend, Civil War comes out. Uh, Captain America Civil War. We will be seeing it. And you know damn well, we will be critiquing it. Um, we will be... I guess that'll be next episode. Yeah, it'll be the Civil War review. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I got a bus ticket in my pocket. But, um, ooh, bus ticket. Maybe it's the golden ticket. Maybe you could go to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and they'll oh. give it all to you. Shout out to the homie Jason for giving me this. Stop saying people's go. name. I am. Um, Who the fuck is Jason? Let's you talking about J Rock. I don't want to know. Oh, fucking Jada Kiss? None no. of those two people? No, my friend Jason. Oh, uh, God bless Jason who oh. gave him the bus ticket. I lost it. It's meant to be lost. <laughs> and that's, what, that's what was meant to happen. That's God saying, Eider's right. No. Poof. No. Bye with Jason on your show. Get to the fucking show. That's what he's saying right now. Elite. Um. So, any stories? Mm. You know. Today is Star Wars Day. Is it? Mm-hmm. Why? Honestly, I have no idea, but I've heard, I I just heard around Twitter hashtag Star Wars. And Day yesterday today. was Teacher Appreciation Day. It's teacher Appreciation Every... Week today. No, 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 no. That's where you got it fucked up. Teacher Appreciation Day was May second or whatever the fuck it was, right? Third yesterday, year. but October thirteenth or October fifteenth is Teachers Day or something like that. Why Teacher Appreciation and Teachers Day? Aren't mutually exclusive. I don't understand. Teacher's day is teachers get to, I guess, chill that day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and teacher appreciation day? Is uh, people appreciate the teacher. The same fucking difference. I, I don't understand why that has to be split. That's just a reason to make teachers feel important on two different days of the year as opposed to one. Where they should feel important because they don't got to work through the fucking summer. They should already be happy. Because most people have to work through the heat. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so you don't really have any stories? Mm-mm. Other than the video game that you were just talking about, Overwatch. Um, and, um, do I have anything? And that, the fact that we're going to be reviewing Civil War. Oh, Dark Souls came out with a comic book series. Oh my God. You said you had no more stories. You're just pulling shit out of the air now. Mm. Now you're just remembering I'm done. things. I'm done. I'm done. And you're just trying to talk about them. I'm done. Unless you have a real full-fledged story. Which I do not. That you have written down and you have looked for fucking information about. And you can bring it concisively, correctly. You know I don't. To the gods. You know I don't. So what the fuck are you doing? I, it's not a trick. I'm not trying to force you to bring a story. I'm, I just want to make sure that you're done. Fully with the things you have prepared I don't prepare. for the show. Like like any savage does. We don't Stop, prepare. stop, stop. You're not a savage. Savages live in the woods. They eat raw meat. It's a term that No 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 stop. The English language, words only mean what they mean. Now slang is another reason, is another reasoning of using those same words, but even in slang terms. You're not a savage. <laughs> because savages deal drugs and hack people's arms off who fucking sell them beat beat bricks or whatever. They do savage things. It's because you hear a song where the guy's going and having a fucking aneurysm in the fucking song. And he calls himself a savage, and you think the beat's dope, and you sing along to it in your fucking shower, doesn't make you a savage. (laughs) (laughs) So stop. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. 
I hit the club, then we woo woo wee. He's 13. What club has he hit? Taking Zimmy up a penny and she gotta go like woo wee. No. This is the shit I'm talking about. This is why we do the show. So that one day he could look back and see, damn, dad was right. I really was an asshole. I really was a little douche. Why am I so pushed out of the frame? What the fuck is going on today? Can I get some goddamn equality in here? Teacher, teacher, she's touching my property. Slap her in the face. Oh, ah, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Rapping. That's not rapping. You're mimicking someone else's rap. Not really. If you were rapping, you would be kicking your own fucking verse that right now. Was my own verse. That, that was my own verse. Do you want to use this time to showcase your talent? Do you have 16 bars that you want to show the people? No, I don't have 16 bars, but... But? I have like a few sentences. That you want to share with the people? I mean, I... I you think it's ready? You think it's really at that caliber where the people no. would want to share with you in these sentences you have? Not this not this week. Not yeah. this Why not package it, sit on it, hone it, lay it down, then you can own it. Don't play around. When you hear that on playback, you're going to know how dope that was. All right. Now, um... I got some stories. I, I really don't have anything either. Um, not to say that I didn't do any research, but I didn't do any research. I didn't really fucking, I didn't care enough about what I heard to uh, to jot it down. Uh, tell you the truth, um, between the Dark Souls Three, uh, the Ratchet and Clank. And a Star Fox that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I've been engulfed in a video game mode. Only because the No Man's Land is coming out in Uncharted, a month. Doom. Uncharted 4, Doom 12. is a plethora of fucking games about to hit. And AV knows... Many times we own the newest... We always got the new shit. We always get the newest games. But I won't play another game till I finish the one I'm already on. And he plays them. All and time. I like to get every secret. Yeah, I'm real uh, maniatico. Um, uh, um, OCD. I'm, I'm obsessively compulsive with getting every secret and every fucking thing. You know, alternate ending. I like to see every ending. I'm like that. And I'm a campaign dude. I don't multiplayer. So, you know, God bless you if you like us and you like to bug out. Multiplayer, he's, he's your dude. All day. You okay. know, he'll fuck with you. But I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just don't. For for reasons that I'm pretty sure are evident. I don't like motherfuckers that cheap. You know, they, they if you're playing Call of Duty, you're playing a map. They're sniping you from far away. Uh, they're talking real fucking slick. You know, want to sit on your face and make you eat balls, and then you can't go to their house and rape their cat. You know, like, I don't like, I don't like motherfuckers that are tough over my- Rape their cat? I'm just saying, they're tough guys on the game. You know, like, when you play, you're playing a game with 12 and 13 year olds. But then you have another half of the people online who are 25 to 30 year olds. And they're, they're, they're just talking like shitheads. You know, they talking real tough. I met up. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't the toughest motherfucker. You know, I've, I've lost many a fucking fight. But you get heated fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a killer. So you know what I'm saying? Thing is, but I ain't scared to get my ass whipped. So, you know, you won't talk shit to me, and I'm going to just let it slide. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to, you know, we gonna, we, shit's just going to have to go down. And it can't go down. If you're looking at a screen, you know, if a guy could just block you because he doesn't like the fact that you're like, I'm going to find you and I'm going to fucking bathe in your blood, you piece of shit. But I digress. <laughs> I say all that to say there's a lot of new shit coming out. So I've been, you know, playing the little games that we do have. What's wrong with you? What happened? First, it was raping their cat. Now it's bathing in their blood. The same way 
rappers talk tough to 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 say the illest things, you know, or rocket, I got a gun in my trunk. Oh, I got a rocket launcher that'll go through your fucking car. You know, the same way that these guys are online talking slick. I'm the number one sniper, or they got these little clever names. You know how they're the best at what they do, and they like to show you, you don't want to mess with me, you know, because I'm the grenade king. Well, you don't want to mess with me because I'm the cat raper. Okay? <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to mess with me because I'm kooky fucking Lukey. Um, All my nuts are not screwed in tight. What do you call it? I so you talking uh, shit to me. You know, it's not... We're supposed to be having fun. It's a game. You know what I mean? And and I don't have fun when I play multiplayer. So I entrench myself in the campaigns of many, many games. I was going to say I wanted you to try out Skyrim. Give it another try. Skyrim? But I did. I play Skyrim. Oh, you mean multiplayer? No, there's no multiplayer in Skyrim. I'm just saying, give it another try now. Because when you What's first Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Five. Oh, you Skyrim. mean? I thought you meant Destiny. Nah, I'm not beat. I don't like dragons. I don't want to fight a dragon with a sword. That sounds really hard, yeah, and like I feel like I'm out? gonna lose a lot. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard. You know, it sucks. I know. I was playing Skyrim yesterday. I'm level forty-one out of eighty-eight now. But this is way too much fucking gaming. Um. I'd like to move on. Can we move on? You can move on. I just want to move on. You can move on. Are you sure? I am positively, extremely, exquisite, somethingly positive. You just picking adjectives? You just spitting out fucking words? I'm positive. I'm umbrellas and fucking psychopath, uh, uh, gutter like, balls I'm and positive, fucking... uh not wrong. You're just I, spitting fucking words. My girl took off her thong. <sighs> God, you like, God grant me the serenity. I had sex with a bad bitch. Stop, stop. Please. Then I ate a my ears sandwich. are bleeding. Then I ate a oh my God. I ate a sandwich. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Um, Bars. <sighs> Ooh, the microphone's getting hot. Hold up. I'm a little cool. You're getting hot because your breath is burning it. <laughs> your hot ass fucking dragon breath. Because you don't brush your fucking teeth. No. I don't brush my teeth. That's Do why you? the ladies love me. Do you? Well, the ladies love me because you know. Do they? Oh my God, you're showing flab. Go ahead, show more flab. Because there is no composition that is, to that arm. Feel that, that is muscle right no, there. No, no, no feel. Look with your eyes. There's no tone. You I are, don't see a Goya bean. You are a tone. I don't see the fucking muscle. Wait. Yeah, my tone is anger. Are you right? I am tone. Tone fucking loke. Tony, uh. Tony, Tony. God. And you're barely Tony the Tiger. You're barely a cartoon <laughs> with that fucked up muscle you got right there. Can we please do a goddamn semblance of a show? I just want to say that um, the only story that kind of grabbed my attention was a former NFL guy. His name is Dana Stubblefield. Charged with rape. And, I mean, that's bad and that's crazy. But the rape of, like, a crippled woman. Uh, 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 like, uh, I don't think she's physically crippled. I think she's mentally. Like, we, like I don't want to say retarded. Um, even though I just did. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, like, autistic. Autism. Slow, like slow. You know what head. I mean? Which is weird because he was, um, like, um, interviewing her to be a babysitter for his kids. So if she's... If she, if her faculties are not all there, why would you entrust her with your children? Yeah. But that is supposedly what happened. Of course, he's saying it was consensual. She's saying it was rape. Make a long story short, she went for the interview. It finished. She left. He called her and said, yo, I got some money for you. I like you. You know, you're good for the job. I'll give you $50 down payment to let you know I'm serious. Come on back. She came back and he raped her, according to her. And then when he was done, threw her 50, 80 bucks, and she went straight to the police department. And his lawyer saying, though, that it was a consensual affair, uh, you know, trisk. And um, and that's it. That That's that. But um, the fact that she's disabled fucked me up, man. Evil. Uh, mental disorder 
and has developmental and physical disabilities. So yeah, she's also physically disabled. It's not just mental. Wow, this is horrible. Thirty-one years old. This is this is really evil. Um, it's it, a lot of force of rape. I mean, doesn't matter. Or, rape, rape, rape. Oral copulation, uh, anal, vaginal, doesn't fucking matter. Goes, he, he he raped the bitch. Goes to show you, you don't <sighs> drop the soap. I don't mean to call her a bitch, you know. He raped the woman, you know, um, according to her. You know, because uh, you know there's always two ways. You know what I mean? She could have went there for that interview. I'm just saying, playing devil's advocate. She, even though she's supposedly mentally slow, she's not that slow that she's not trying to get a job. So apparently she knows that she has to earn a living. So maybe she was in the house. He's an ex-NFL star. Uh, got trophies and thinks she notices, oh, this motherfucker got money. You know, so when she's at the bus stop or when she left, she's like, fuck it, I'll go back. You know, maybe we could get it in. And then, at, so that way, I, now I have his cum in me and I could go to the get the rape kit, go to cry rape, you know, and get a payday. I'm not saying that's what she did. I'm just saying women have already done that. Yeah. You know what I mean? To show you. You For know God's what? sakes, women go out to clubs and poke holes in their own condoms so that when they have sex with stars, NFL, NBA, a lot of basketball players, they'll get pregnant on purpose. Women save the cum. There have been men who have ejaculated in a woman's mouth. She spits it in a cup, brings it home, puts it in a turkey baster, and puts it inside her. Gets pregnant. Has a baby and goes to court for money, for support of that child. And even though the guy's sitting there talking about your honor, there's no way she could be pregnant because I only came in her mouth. And and still, uh, money, you know, you're legally the kid's father. All right, she did some wicked wizardry to get herself pregnant. But a child exists and it's your blood. $5,000 a month. Or week or whatever. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do it. But you you have no choice. Oh, They'll take choice. it from your paycheck. Before your check gets to you, direct deposit, you don't even have to get you know, whatever. The government will take deduct five thousand dollars a week from you and send it straight to her bank account. Ouch. Yeah. Any woman that did that to me, it's slow for you. You know, it, it but it's unfortunate, but it happens. So I'm just saying that you know, you just can't take everything at face value nowadays because everybody's trying to get paid. Look at Hulk Hogan. He won $100 million from Gawker because they put out the racist private... Oh, yeah, the conversation. Now. Whatever, that was private. And he won $100 million. And he's taking them to court again. Because $100 million wasn't enough. Now he ha- he sees that... he see- It's like a shark. It smells blood in the water. Yeah. So he saw that the court is on his side, and he already kind of went broke from when his wife left them, because he had a wife of a long time. They had the TV show, um, Hogan's Heroes, or what oh. the fuck it was. No, I think it was Hogan Knows Best, or whatever it was. <laughs> but his wife, knowingly, now we uh, people know, she's into young guys. You know, she likes her toy 18, 19-year-old men. You know, she's a woman of a certain age. Which, uh, which, and she left Hulk Hogan and left him broke, you know, whatever. Left him a broken man, broken soul, and broken the pockets. <laughs> Fucked up in all different ways. So when this was released, this racist rant, um, either he saw a way for a payday or he was just like, fuck it, I ain't got nothing to lose. I might as well try, you know, throw a rock at the throne. Maybe I might hit the king, you know, who knows, you who know. Knows. And he actually got a hit. So now there's blood in the water. So he's like, fuck it, I'm going all in. And he probably won't see that $100 million. They'll settle out of court eventually because Gawker could now appeal. There's an appeal process and they'll go back and forth, back and forth. But eventually Gawker will be guilty and they'll have to pay the $100 million. They won't want to pay the $100 million over a long period of time. Lawyers will talk to lawyers and they'll be like, all right, I'll give you $30 million right now today. And he'll fucking take it. Who wouldn't? Hmm. You know what I mean? You could pay me a hundred million over the next thirty-five years, which is great. I ain't going broke as long as you owe me money. But what if your business folds? What if you uh, 
file bankruptcy. A lot of what ifs. What if I die before I get all that money? Now that money won't pass on. For whatever reason, people set a lot of court all the time. The point being, Americans are always in fucking court. You know, everybody's always looking to get paid. Because money is the best. So, you know, it's 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 crazy that this uh, Dana Stubblefield uh, used to play for the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco 49ers. 49ers. Um, 49ers. <laughs> but to rape a mentally disabled woman. That's greasy. You ain't shit, dogs. Because to rape anybody, that's crazy. Especially if you got money. Because there's rent the holes all over the place. If you don't know how to open the phone book to the letter E, it's called an escort, then you're an idiot. If you got money and can't jump on a plane to go to fucking Nevada, Las Vegas, and hit the bunny ranch, you're a fucking imbecile. And if you don't know how to drive to your local fucking uh, crack block or, or, yeah, or whatever, local strip of hoes and get your little dicks, you know, you there's many ways. He's probably just deviant, <laughs> deviant, devious and wants, I don't know, maybe he likes that. Raping uh, bitches? I guess. But you could role play. If you like to be dominant on a woman, you could rent a hoe, 250 bucks, whatever it costs you, two consenting adults who agrees to, and be like, look, I'm into dominating. So we'll have a little safe word. If it's getting too rough for you, say soliloquy. But unless I hear you say the word soliloquy, we about to go in. So resist. I like that. It gets me hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you're putting on the bed, she'll keep her legs closed. You're constantly ripping them open. You know, you maybe you slap her a few times. You know, when, when it gets too rough, she'll say soliloquy. Believe me, they get slapped all the time from their pimps. They could say, men are weird because men go to the strip club and they do shit and they'll smack a girl in the ass and the girl will be like, that's it? Do it harder, you know. But men, even though men like to fancy themselves, I'm a man, yeah, woohoo, and be all mad. When you, for the, you know, when you're around it, most men, when those who are not psychopaths, um, <laughs> you know, when you're around a woman strip or whatever and she's like, you know, slap my ass or whatever, you kind of... You know, maybe you go a little lighter than you normally would. You don't go, you know, trying to leave your fucking red marks in that motherfucker. You know, I, I don't think most no, men do it like that. But, you know, some pe- a lot of people are into a lot of different things. You know, there's a way for him to find that. Uh, if that's really his thing, which is sick in itself, you know. What makes you get into that? Not the dominating part. Because do- S&M... Uh, sadomasochism and and, and, and to be dominated or to dominate someone (laughs) that's cool they got cuckolding that's when a man lets his wife get fucked by another man no 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 no. he knows she's going out to get fucked by a guy comes back and she got the other guys coming her yeah and he'll eat it out of her that's greasy shit like that yeah yeah it's to degrade him if that's what he likes he likes to be degraded. It's called cuckolding. You're right, though. Getting It could be that they he watches his wife get fucked in front of him. Or, or you know, he could be in a closet while they do it. Uh, there's different versions of that. But the end of the thing is that the man is being degraded. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's what turns him on. You know, some guys like to be with a girl... And while they're in the heat of the moment... They're like, tell me how big, you, 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 how, how big your ex-boyfriend's dick was. Why you want to know that? I don't understand. Why that turns you on? I don't understand. But some guys like that. It's so greasy. You know, like that. Like while you're fucking the girl, you want to be told, "Oh, this dick ain't shit." My fucking my 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 eighth grade partner's dick was bigger than this. You know that makes that guy's dick get harder. Like, yeah, tell me that. You know. Why I don't understand, uh. <laughs> but there are many this different is all fetishes. So greasy. You know, people like to be dressed as babies That's in a diaper and be fed. But you know, there are many different sexual fantasies. The uh, the 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 point is that as adults, we could search our bodies, find what our little quirks are, and and find partners that will alleviate those stresses for you that will go down those roads with you 
You know, there are married couples that every other Friday night, they pretend to not know each other. You know, let's meet in a random bar and pick me up. You know, my name will be Tracy and your name will be McGrady. And, uh, <laughs> and, and motherfucking, you know, kick it to me at the bar. Win me over all over again. You know what I mean? Yes. And since you know that that's really your wife, or you can walk up and be like, you know, you could be a little dirtier than you normally would be. The point is all about excitement and newness and, and, and just, you know, get, putting something different in the game other than your lady laying on her back, on her back and you inserting in a slot A. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, gets boring after a while. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the point is newness, you know, Drop bringing a breath of fresh air to, to the room, as it were, you know what I'm saying? But um, there ain't no fresh, you know, breath of fresh air when you raping bitches, dude. That shit is corny. Cornball move. It's corny. Bro. It's just stupid. Cornball move. Like, wow. But yeah, Dana Stubblefield, ex-NFL star from the San Francisco 49ers. Raped a disabled woman and now faces serious prison time. Yeah, I would think so. He better be. He was a three time pro bowler. And he went through a babysitting service. So, yeah, I was right. She wanted to be a babysitter, this lady. Hmm. Whatever, man. Just It's a sad state of affairs then that that's how you got to live. When you got some dough in the bank. And you could easily get anything you want. Go Why? To show you. Why? If he's guilty of it, I would say it's because he probably thought she can't tell. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? People won't believe her. She's not all there. All her mental faculties are not there. She's crippled. People will say, well, he's a famous ex. He could get any woman he want. Why would he do that, man? You know, that's what he probably thought. Not knowing it don't matter. It don't, you know, look at Hugh Grant. Not that you would know who that is, but an actor from England. He had a bad bitch as a wife. She's in the movie um, Bedazzled or something. I know it's a weird, obscure pull. But basically, she's in the movie where she's the devil. Uh, and Brandon Fraser was a good guy. She was trying uh, to get his soul. Uh, 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 really pretty woman. Like, if you see that woman, she's bad. And Hugh Grant was found in a car with a hooker. Who was a man, turned out to be a tranny, That's weird. and not a looker, you know, not the best one he could have chose, because I, I see, I watch the internet, I see things, there are a lot of trannies that you won't even know, you, you know, there ain't no lumps here, <laughs> they, you know, there is no, you have to really think, it, is that a guy? If that's a guy, then I don't know. I might have to question my sexuality because uh, I'm feeling tingling sensations down there. <laughs> you know, that's a bad bitch. You know what I mean? Um, after the fact, used to be a dude, now she's a bad bitch. But, um, and he was found with some atrocious looking bitch. A horrid beast of a woman. You know, like, wig is all sideways. And, you know, and he had that at home. An atrocious beast of a woman. You know what I'm just saying? Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> had Maria Shriver, who's on in years, but very toy woman. Toy. She keeps her body right. Toy. And he was with this fucking hefty fucking maid. <laughs> he, he had a baby, ended up having a baby or something, cheated on her with this real fugly bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fat and ugly, fucking ugly. I don't know, you know. Chunky and ugly. Like, you know, not not a looker. She's horrible. You know? It's just weird, you know? Like, so men get tired of women even if they are very good looking. But men also make bad decisions. Over pussy? True. I guess is the point I'm trying to make. That's the point. But, the but point. none of these people are raping people. I'm sorry, puppy. You had a point. The moral of the story is don't drop the soap. <laughs> How is that the moral of the story? <laughs> I have no idea. When were we talking about prison? I wanted to say that the whole episode. Wow. I've been holding that back for a while. Man. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here, bro. Don't drop the soap. 
I'm glad you're here. Uh, you know, rape is bad. Don't rape people. Don't drop the soap either. If you're in you jail know. one day. Mentally or physically. Don't don't rape. Rape is stupid. Stop. Stop. Is your urge, your carnal urge to fucking come in a woman that bad that you just have to attack a woman on the street? Stop. Dude, for real. Relax. <laughs> Smoke a fucking bone or something. I, I don't know what to tell you. I wanted to say that the whole episode, just for fun. I take pictures of all my. But eyes. um, I I don't know. That's pretty much it. I don't really want to end the show on such a downer note. So um, so I'm gonna end it on this. No, not music. Damn. Cause I don't trust you, and I and and I don't want to be blurred. I don't want to be blocked and muted and stuff like that. Um, so we will end with Fly Fat Ass Fly, Captain America, the movie review. Ja boy Anomaly. What? Ja boy Avery. I thought you said your boy Anomaly. Like, you know, like, what are you, the Anomaly? Are you the I one? Am, I am Neo. <sighs> I'm on the two level. I'm on it. Oh, stop! Please! Come on. We're trying to keep viewership. That is. If you don't like ASAP Berg, you don't deserve to live on this earth. That's all I have to say to you. Especially that song, New Level. Oh. Woo! You were saying? I was saying that the review for the Captain America movie, uh, Civil War, I guess it's called. Um. We'll be doing that next week, um, amongst other things that uh, come up. The print story will keep multiplying and shifting and changing as we go along. We will definitely keep you abreast of that because I find it really interesting. The whole family dynamic is crackhead sister trying to get money. Now a guy came out the woodwork claiming to be his son, about 31 years old. Doesn't want fame though. Didn't release his name or picture. There's a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, parts to this story that I find interesting only because Prince worked so hard to keep his music tight, secretive. Didn't release his move music for many movies and commercials and shit. And his family, those these vultures can't wait to get their hand on his shit so they could release it for everything. You're going to see Party City commercials with fucking Prince songs. You know, <laughs> selling Wendy's sandwiches with Prince. You know, a disservice to his to his illustrious Your career. Rinse. So, you know, I want to make sure that I get all that news well before I keep reporting. But we'll keep you abreast. Um, the, I don't know. What else? Yeah. The skateboard will be... I was going to say the skateboard <laughs> building will come soon, but that's your story to tell. The so. skateboard building will come soon. This Friday, Ma gets paid, right? I guess, but it's Mother's Day. So I, no, she said it. this week anyway, I'm getting it. No, she this didn't. Weekend. You don't listen. Right. Two weeks from now. So long. It is long, but you also want games and other things. When skateboard. you promised... Like, I don't know. All right, as long as I'm building the skateboard, I'm not going to ask for anything else. How many things have you asked for? Two. Okay. So leave it at that. Be happy that you have a mom that gives you what the fuck you want. Even though it's not Christmas or your birthday. My God. Some appreciation, Lord. Please. For all you women out there. What, what woman? What women can you handle? You want to know what to do with a woman, dude. What? What are you doing? That's not even a move. You do that shit to a woman, she's going to laugh at you. And say, apparently you're not ready. Pick up her fucking panties and walk right out the fucking door. I'll probably play some Overwatch after that. Because I could have been a good Such spouse. a child. <laughs> For the Sun and I video podcast... This has been Mr. Avery Kane, ah, the ah, child. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt, that hurt. The son. Ah. And your man, Mr. 3797 ID. You put 3797 before the ID because I am the future. And because I just like saying it. You know. Um, 
I am I. That's greasy. I am I. That is greasy. Sunday Night Video Podcast. Monday! Ya tu sabe. You already know. For uh, first week of May. We are in May. First week of May. Happy birthday. Summer's coming soon, baby. A lot of fucking field trips. Believe that. And a lot of skateboarding when I get it. I'm going to get you to... uh, I'm going to get my boy... I'm not going to say his name, I guess. You can say whatever the fuck you want. I'm going to get my boy Josh, Aaron, Jason, Xavier, and Chris. Specifically Jason, because he's the one that filmed skateboarding. You going to help me, bro? You're going to record me? We already agreed that you my boy. You agreed that he's your boy? He asked me, can I film you? Like he saw me oh, I thought he asked you, can I be your boy? He saw me um do that trick at that uh, park once, the one that I broke my board on, because he mm-hmm. saw I almost had it. Nolly tray flip onto a rail doing... um. I did a backside. No, not backside 180. forgot what it was. How doing. about you tell the microphone since you're on a fucking doing, radio show? I know I went to go do the uh, Nolly tray flip from that song. And I almost had it once because I went to go grind on the rail, but I fail. That's what you're doing. But I fail and um, and uh, broke my board, and then you know. Yeah, we've heard this story. You know. Yeah. But um. Broke the board that your friend gave you. We remember. Cause I was on a new level. Don't end the show like that. Not our product. <laughs> All right, this has been. Not not that. Come on, dude. I'm gonna end it on uh. We'll have new content for you. As always. Every week. On Wednesday. No. Well, Friday. We On Friday. Thursday. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Kid. When do we release the program? When do we publish it? When I feel like it. I'm kidding. Uh, Thursday or Friday-ish? It's usually Friday. Friday. That is the day we aim for. New we record it on whatever New fuck, usually Wednesdays. Friday. But shit could fluctuate. Because life is life. You got to be fluid and roll with the fucking punches. All right, we're done here. <laughs> this has been Avery. The man, the myth, the legend. And I'm Mr. ID. You have just watched this. The real fucking legend. I'm the real legend. Ladies, hit me up first. You have to have lived a life to be a legend. Like you I have said, to have history before you ladies, in order to be a legend. Y'all so hit me up first. You already know. Twitter's at Project Avery. You come hit me up. Or you can hit up my Instagram, AveXX. It's been... Nah, it looks stupid. Be right. Be right. I'm thugged out. <laughs> I believe my Twitter handle is... At Eider, 3797. Mm-hmm. Or it could be at Eider1. I have no idea. I it's at Eider01. Eider01? Yes. Are you sure? How do I know? You just... It click, shows you how much you I just use. click the, uh, your profile. At Eider1. One. One. So capital. it's at I-D-E-R, the number one. Yeah, all capital. At AVEXX. Hit me up, man. Twitter my ass. Tweet. Give me some goddamn uh, followers. Yeah. Tweet. If you want, you can tweet. Tweet, tweet, delete, if you tweet, want, delete me. Tweet, tweet. Ah! Realize I forgot your bump is there. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Which is why, you know, for those of you that lasted this long to the end of the video, why in the beginning of summer am I wearing a fucking long sleeve sweater? Is because I burnt myself and I got a welt and it bubbled up and then it popped and there's all types of ugliness and craziness going on and I just so i didn't want to subject people to that and i just hit it raw yeah and he just hit the motherfucker it's all good though it's all good we good we bullying yeah we're we're blooming bullying uh because i thought you were blooming like an onion i don't know bullying bullying what is bull spell it b-o-o-l-i-n what is bullying bullying means we're chilling we're grooving right now we're bullying who the fuck made that shit up me and Bandon. Well, peace. For the Sun and I Video Podcast, <laughs> this has been your man ID, your myth, and Mr. Kane. We're signing out. See you later. Love you, miss you. Peace. Peace. Wait, wait, hold on. 
Peace. The son and I. Son and I. <laughs> Fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> I was thinking of a SpongeBob episode. Where he was like, the hook to Mr. Krabs. Proving <laughs> yet again that you're a fucking child. Ladies, hit me up. The you man, know, the myth, the SpongeBob watcher. You know your boy over here with the muscle. Fuck out of here. Groovy, the grooviness, the man, the myth, the legend. Pro era. Peace out. Peace.